Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Castlevania, Lords of Shadow. Last time we, uh, well, we bit a little bitch at her own, at her own game. And now, she was forced to let us move on to the Dark Lord, to the refectory of the castle. What awaits us ahead, Zobek? She has the body of an innocent child, yet the wits and cunning of a seasoned predator. She will kill Gabriel in a heartbeat if she could. Beautiful Laura, who was turned many centuries ago, has lived a lonely, cruel existence ever since. Gabriel will have to be very careful from now on, as he can be sure that her mother, the one who commands here, is now fully aware of his presence, and that Laura herself still has some part to play in our tale. And here we are, the refectory. One thing is certain, though. This atmosphere, man. This is one of my, uh, I, think it is, I think it is, one of my favorite levels in the game. Let's stock up on our magic. Ah, oh, for the love of God. Jesus. A ghoul feeding pit. Hmm. What is this? We need the key, hmm, to open the door. Unfortunately. Now, I was wrong. This is not the, uh, the level I was thinking of. But this is still one of the better levels. As you can see... The, uh, the aristocracy has fallen into hard times. Oh, crap. They still dine. Wine and dine at a proper table. But... The dinner... itself... Well... However, as I was saying, the, um, the quality of the meals, as well as the... Uh, well, shall we say the pedigree? of the diners has uh, diminished. Okay, so here we are at the uh, dining room. And sanitary is the correct word that comes in mind. Now, what is this? Hmm, we need another key for this mechanism. Anything we can use behind all these all these barrels and wooden crates? No. Okay, let's pick up a piece of meat. Surely from from some hapless villager. Set it up here. That should lure them out. Ha! Okay. Hello, brother. How did you end up in here? Oh. 
Jesus Christ, look at this guy. The evil butcher. And now another one of the uh, of the regulars of the Castlevania series. He made his first appearance, I think, in Aria of Sorrow. I think. He may have been uh, he may have appeared earlier, but I don't remember. In any case, this monster of unknown origin has somehow become the uh, official cook for the vampires. The Dark Lord uses the evil butcher to feed the ghouls, wargs and other creatures that live within the castle grounds. He carries a huge iron cleaver as his main weapon. He's not really a fighter, but is dangerous and skilled with the tools found in his kitchen. However, due to his, due to his size, he needs constant refueling in order to maintain his stamina. Yes. Ouch. That hurts, you fuck boy. Yeah, nice try. Hmm. Okay, gotta find the trick. <laughs> really now? <laughs> Ow. Give it here! Come on! <laughs> you gotta admit, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I, I really enjoy Gabriel, <laughs> I gotta admit. I like him and I can't lie. Alright, so, Evil Butcher's done for the count. Although it could have gone better. Come closer, you. Don't be shy. Okay. Well, the question is, do I use it here? 
to leave or not? Just a thing. Ah, and my crystal is already full. Well. Time to go upstairs and open the... Oh, hello, brother. I didn't see you down there. The castle cook has a key which I need. Damn, he looks repulsive. I dread to think what he feeds to those ghouls. I must have that key, but how? Hmm. I must lure him out, or find a way into the kitchen where he prepares his gruesome meals. No small task, for he looks a worthy opponent, and I am not sure I have the strength to deal with him. Instead, you died and were thrown under a table. Not the fate you had in mind, I'm sure. Alright, time to open the door and move forward. I think we're done with the refectory. Or perhaps not yet. The dragon imagery is... Um Pretty striking, don't you think? It's not something it's not something you can miss. Ah. More living armor. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Until you've turned around, I've kicked your ass already. Ah crap. Yeah, not gonna bother with all those fuckers. Okay. So now, I think we have a puzzle in our hands, don't you? There you are, brother. Give me the hint. Oh, there appears to be a floor above this one, though I see no clear way to access it. There must be some secret to find that will aid me in this godforsaken place. <sighs> my fairies are all but gone and my dark crystal is incomplete. God has abandoned me here. <sighs> they are coming. I can hear them. <sighs> Forgive me, Iris, for it seems I will never look upon your beautiful face again. More's the pity for Iris. Okay. So. What now? Yep. Okay. It's easy when you know how. Not a difficult puzzle, all told. And now the doorway to the belly of the beast opens. What horrors await within, I wonder. I missed a uh, shadow magic gem, but oh well, I guess. Moving on to chapter number seven. As you can see, the castle is uh, quite extensive. It takes up not only chapter 6, but also 7 and number 8. As you can see, there's another chapter marker right next to this one on the in the castle. Rather, on the castle regarding the map, but takes place in the castle itself. Now, this might seem a small chapter, just three levels, but trust me, it's not. The 
castle is one of the biggest chapters in the game. Although I can't complain, this is a Castlevania game after all. All right, time to hear what Zobek has to say about the balcony. The butcher who commanded the castle kitchens fed the corpses of the dead to the ghouls. The efficiency of the queen's household is formidable indeed. The vampires drain the blood and the ghouls feed on the remains. Nothing is left. Using his powers is making Gabriel far stronger than I anticipated. He will need more than physical prowess when he faces her. She can put a glamour upon his heart that will tempt him to forget everything he knows, even his beloved. She holds the next piece of the mask, and I fear that he will fall at the last. Ah, the beautiful vistas of Castlevania. Mercury Steam, if nothing else, has done an incredible job of bringing uh, the 2D majesty of the, of the games into the third dimension. Alright, you bitches. Time to die. Okay, Gabriel. Now, watch your step. I can see a dead brother over there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Ugh, oh, come on, game. Sometimes... Jeez. But how do we get there? That's a good question. It's a very good question indeed. Let's see. Haha! <laughs> camera playing tricks on us, but, but, there's a saying in my country, they say that the good lad always finds another path. It means that if you're, if you're, um, if you're clever enough and think a bit outside the box, you'll find a way to overcome the odds, even when there seemingly is no way. To succeed. Can jump through here. So we're gonna have to do this another way. What is that? Oh crap! Forgot about these guys. Yes, yeah, nice try. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Jesus, it's like a, a piñata. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen so many sub-weapons <laughs> gathered in one place. <laughs> okay. Now. Moving on. Nothing hiding in here. Okay, now let's see. Bats. And a fallen brother. Tell me, brother, your secrets. I have assessed the expanse of the castle and it is truly vast in size. The Dark Lord that rules here is well protected and I fear none from our brotherhood will ever come close enough to challenging him. Oh, it is cold here and the wind chills to the bone. I am fortunate not to have been discovered, but I do not know how long that will last. Well, looks like you died from exposure. Don't have any uh, any wounds that I can see, at least. And this door needs a key. Hmm. Where to find the key, though? Let's go this way. I have a hunch that if I try to drop down, I'm gonna die. Like a little bitch. But you never know. 
and who dares apparently wins. Tell me, brother, quickly, what do you have for me? The castle was once a place where horrific experiments were conducted. I have folk tell of clockwork mechanisms that still continue to turn for no apparent reason and strange contraptions that wander its dark corridors. Lightning strikes here often. Is that what gave life to these... things? Is the castle itself a giant conductor for the vast amounts of energy needed to resurrect these unholy abominations and the experiments that created them? Definitely sounds like something out of a Frankenstein film or, uh, or book, doesn't it? Time to say goodnight. Alright, time to fill up our health. And, uh, hmm. Whatever next. Don't think I can break through here, so let's try another window. Can we try another window? Yes, I think we can. You gotta be kidding me now, right? There we go. Alright. I can see some skeletons down there. So I think this is a as good as as good a place as any to stop this video for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Till then, take care.